YouTube. This is my fursuit head that I've been working on. Um, as you can see, I did all the extra padding stuff, like like that, and then I put some tape on it and to make a cutout so this time it won't look as bad as Fireball did um, when I did him. So, yeah. And here's a little piece of fur that I've already cut out and sewn and stuff. Um, it doesn't really cover that completely, um, but I think that's okay. I mean, I'll just add some extra fur on the when I cut out the cheeks. But there is her, and I'm not sure if it's going to be either Cody or Tosca, one of them. At least. There's the inside of the mouth. Still got to make all the sculpty teeth and nose and stuff. And then I gotta cut out all this and cut out my fur. And here, it's eyes. See, they're following me eyes. And it gives you pretty good vision. Like, I mean, it's not perfect, but, you know. Here, let me put these in. And they're gonna look weird, because, you know, I didn't. So I'm not gleaming in. Hold on. Yeah. Okay, this is gonna be a bit hard to do. Yeah. I can't really get them fully in because of the duct tape or the tape. Yeah, it's actually masking tape because I heard that the duct tape will rip the foam unless you use saran wrap and I heard that that's not what I to use. So, yeah. All right, but they're following me. It's following you. Okay, yeah, it doesn't matter. Well, unless it's on the first side. But, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah so there's her or him I don't know yet and it's time I cut it better so hopefully it won't get that same shape and yeah you can kind of tell oh, oh, <laughs> but yeah and I'm not going to put it on because every time I put it on I feel like I'm going to break it it's about the duct tape or the tape, masking tape, whatever I just call it duct tape but and the bottom jaw, and then did the arrows. First, gonna be, but I think it's turning out pretty good so far. I mean, certainly better than the first one. And I might not sell a fireball. I might take that video off because I don't know. I'd always just make better ones and sell them. But yeah, so I'm on the edge of deciding if I should not sell fireball. You know, the black and red one, or if I should, I don't know. Well, I actually got a request from somebody, so to do something for them to make whatever. So, yeah, that is the first two heads so far, and it's half bird. See, now I'm not sure if this fur is on right. I'm starting to think it's in the wrong place. But this snout is really big. Just kind of gives her that cute look. That's what I like. I like it when their snouts are really big. I don't like it when they're really small and flabby. It just makes it look retarded. <laughs> Mental or something. But all I have to do is then cut out the rest of this stuff, get all that fur on, and maybe make feet paws. Feet paws? And hand paws. I don't know yet. And it'll probably just be a partial. I don't think I'm good enough to do a full one yet. Uh, yeah. It's by update. So. And hope you guys like it. I always say that, don't I? Okay, but you just hope that you don't think it's crappy because I worked hard on it and I think it's pretty good. So, yeah. Mm, that is all, I guess. But I really like the jaw. I don't know, it just gets my attention so much. It just looks cool to me. But I still gotta add the little thing to help you move your jaw. But yeah, my glue gun, it kinda failed. Like, like, well it didn't fail, it's just, it smokes. So, it, it's kind of worrying me because it was really smoky. And I probably need to use the only glue gun we have. But yeah, in the eyes. I just used fine foam, black see-through material, and toilet paper roll. With markers and paint, and then use a pretty good eye. I don't know, I might change out the eyes later, might make them better. 
really like these actually. They just they're pretty. Alright, so yeah. And I might sell it. I mean I'll probably keep this one since it will be like my first good one. But I might sell it. So just stay updated. And if you're not already subscribed to me, then subscribe because I need more subscribers. Well, yeah, whatever. I don't really care, but you know. Just to be nice. And that's about all. Thanks for watching this. And hope you guys get to see my new website soon. And I hope I don't get off track from this because I've been doing it pretty good. Ever since yesterday I got pretty much all of this done. Because uh, I already had the base of the head done with the front snout. But I had all this stuff. And I need more detail. And yeah. And actually I really recommend the masking tape. Because it is the easiest stuff ever. It might rip the phone a bit, foam a bit, but it's still really good and easy to use. But, yeah. Okay, hope you guys like it. Not her or him, because we don't know. But, yeah. See my new update soon. Probably, like, tomorrow or something. Okay, bye. Bye. Bye, bye. Okay, bye. Okay, so you know how I've been working on this? Well, this is the mess. Yep, it's totally trashed. And my desk doesn't look that bad, but it actually is really bad. All right, so I'm gonna pause this and clean all this crap up. And then I will show you guys what it looks like when I'm done cleaning it up. You will be amazed. See, so if you get in the first sitting, just see this coming because this happens to everybody, I believe, unless you clean up as you go, but that just makes it a whole lot slower. But, yeah. And wish me luck with cleaning this because it's going to take like an hour. I'm not if I hurry and just stuff stuff in random places. Okay, I'm taking too long. Okay. All right, so here's the finished work of my room. Yay, and it was all messy. And it probably sounds different on the camera because I turned the fan off. Um, But I even sweeped, actually. And my desk looks a lot nicer, as you can see. But under it, not as much because I had to kind of stuff everything. And that's what you gotta be expecting if you are just like pretty young when you start fursuiting like me. Or like start making fursuits or quad suits. Cause you just have your room at this point and you're gonna need some storage. You're just gonna have to deal with it I guess. But when you do make these fursuit heads, it's always a good idea to clean up after and sweep. And turn the fan off like I did, cause uh, this fur, you know, it like when you cut it, it sheds like crazy, and it can get to the air and kind of like pollute your lungs, I guess, kind of something like that. But yeah, so it's always a good idea to kind of sweep off your fursuit heads once you're totally finished. Like just now, I sweeped off all the ends of this, and you might have a bit coming off, but it should be good. And. That's why I pretty much sweeped. And I did it with him too. Just because, you know, I already have. Just made sure. It's always a good idea to do that. Just double checking. So, yes, and as you can see, my floor is not clear. And we have really long carpet, which even makes it worse. But, just gonna deal with it. And I organized my bookshelf a bit. I mean, there's still like little wolf figurines all over it and stuff. But,. It was a lot better than it was before. And I do alphabetize my books um, by last name. Pretty weird, but I like to. And that is pretty much it. So, yeah. If you guys like the new fursuit. Oh, yeah, and as you can see, I did start on this part of the head. And it actually didn't cover the whole thing, so I'm pretty bummed. I mean, I'll probably just re-duct tape whatever's not fully covered. 
And just get that done. And I might have it done by tomorrow. Maybe like a month from now. I don't know. It just depends on when I get time. So, yeah. Bye, people, and good night. Because it's nighttime, and I'm going to go take my showers and go to bed. And maybe upload this video. Okay, night.